welcome to another episode of PSRE Science Made Simple. I'm Vanessa and I'm a PSRE Science Specialist here at the Pink Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of reproduction. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 11. A student made three statements about the sexual reproduction in plants and humans. And this question is asking which of the following statements is correct for plants and humans respectively. So let me highlight the word correct. We need to identify the correct statements. So first of all, let's look at statement A. The fertilized egg is found in the ovary. Is this statement true for plants? Yes. We know that fertilization occurs in the ovary and the fertilized egg will be found in the ovary. So I'm going to write here that this statement is true for plants. Therefore, statement A is true for plants. Okay, but is this statement true for humans? No, we know that fertilization occurs in the fallopian tube and the fertilized egg will eventually be implanted in the womb. Therefore, we are going to find the fertilized egg in the womb for humans. So let me write this down. Humans, we will find fertilized egg in the womb. Let's move on to the second statement. Reproductive cells are produced in the stigma. Is this statement true for plants? No, we know that the stigma does not produce any reproductive cells. All it does is that it receives pollen grains in the process of pollination. But where is the male reproductive cell produced? We know that the male reproductive cell is found in the pollen grains and the end up produces the pollen grains. Therefore, for plant's male reproductive cell, it is produced by the anther. Then what about the female reproductive cells in plants? We know that the female reproductive cells in plants are produced in the ovary. And we know that this statement is definitely not true for humans because for humans, where are the male reproductive cells produced? It is produced in the testes, and the female reproductive cells are produced in the ovary. So statement B is not true for both plants and humans. Let's move on to the last statement over here. Fertilization occurs in the female reproductive part. So let's look at where fertilization occurs in plants. Just now we mentioned that in plants, fertilization occurs in the ovary. And we know that in humans, fertilization occurs in the fallopian tube. Both the ovary and the fallopian tube are the female reproductive parts. Therefore, statement C is true for both plants and humans. So I'm going to write it down here. So therefore, our correct answer should be option 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!